I wanted to make a video about how to set up, uh, get the WL Toys V911 helicopter working with the Jumper T16 transmitter Open TX. And basically I wanted to make this video because I couldn't find any such video when I was trying to do it and I struggled a lot trying to get it to work. So, now, as you'll know if you watch my channel at all, this is not really the kind of video I make usually. So, you'll have to forgive me if um, I'm struggling a little bit with some of the technical aspects of this. Uh, I'm trying to use that camera I don't use often for video to film the screen of the... So we want to create a new model. Okay, and basically I'm not going to choose either a glider or a plane. I'm just going to back out of there. No. Sorry. Okay, so we've, we've, we've just created a blank new module. Sorry, I've got some notes here to make sure I don't forget things from doing this before. Now... Okay, so having created the model, we hold down the model screen to go in and we'll set up a name for it. It doesn't really matter, but... Um, no. Always, I always do that. I, I'm not really even that used to using the... Uh, as you can see, yet the uh, V911 yet, the um, Jumper 16. Okay, we'll get there. Oh, is there any way of going backwards? No, apparently not then, just... Oh, for goodness sake. Sorry. I just find the, the way the Jumper 16 handles this. I mean, I'll get used to it, but I just find that currently I still find... The way we'll call this B19X or whatever. I just find it the way it handles entering text and things a little unnatural. Okay. Okay. And we'll add an image. What have we got? We've got an image of the V911 here. And, well, you probably do want to create a timer from throttle start, say, for about, say, about five minutes. That'll take your battery down if it's fully charged to about 3.7, I think, which is maybe a little further than you want to go, but anyway. Ah, uh, Where else? So we skip the other timers. We're not going to change them. Now, one thing I'm going to change here is I'm going to change the default switch positions. I'm going to change switch F because this is switch F here. I like to have switch F throttle cut here, throttle on like that. So that's why I'm changing the reverse position. So back is the default position of switch F. So it won't give me a warning if it's back, but it will give me a warning if it's forward. Okay, now this is very critical. What you want here, you want to leave this the way it is, basically. You want to use the internal RF module, multi, fly sky standard. You do not want to use fly sky V99. I originally used sky sky V912, which would make a lot of sense because the, I know perfectly well that my actual V912 transmitter will fly my V911 fine without cha any changes to the model. So, you, so theoretically, a V912 protocol should fly the V911 fine, but it doesn't. It creates a big old mess if you try and use 912. Uh, I just could not get the... the um, there's absolutely no way I could get the um, tail working properly. The, 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 every time you powered the helicopter... I get it to buy but every time you powered the helicopter, it just spun in the V912 mode. Oh, uh, I don't really want to do that at this point. We want a page. Okay, 
Now for swash type, set the swash to just 120 and leave it alone. Don't change anything else on that page. And we go to the inputs. Now, this is where we have a problem. For some reason, at least mine, the way my firmware is set up, it puts it in as rudder, elevator, throttle, aileron. That is not what we want. We want aileron, elevator, throttle, rudder. So I'm going to have to change two of these. So we change this now. I mean, it really doesn't matter if you change the name, but it's going to be very confusing if you don't change the name, if you have an ever input that's actually air on that's called rudder. So. so we'll change the name. Oops. And more importantly, we'll change where it actually comes from. So we want that to come from aileron. And we're going to change the weight of all, everything except the rudder to 50%. Now it's moderately important. It doesn't, didn't seem to work well if you didn't do, don't do that. And we're going to put maybe 30% expo in as well. Now the expo is kind of your choice. You don't have to do that. But. Okay, and then we've got to, we want to change. Whoops. Ooh. That wasn't good. Um, no, I didn't mean to do that. I'm sorry. Really? Oh, goodness sake. There we go. All I'm trying to do here... Is basically that should come from the elevator and it should be 50% now I, I just kind of messed that up by mistake or well, the only thing you really should need to change here at this point really is the um, weight and the expo throttle we're gonna leave alone now this should actually be the rudder Oh, for goodness sake, I keep hitting the wrong thing, I'm sorry. This should be the rudder. Or the fourth, the, the, uh, fourth channel. Nope. Not the aileron. The rudder. And it needs to go to 50%. Well, you could leave the rudder a little higher if you want, but 50% seemed to work fine to me. Okay. With a bit of luck, that should be correct. Aileron elevator throttle rod, always with aileron elevator and rudder at 50%, and expo 30% on all of them. No mixes. Leave the mixes alone. Uh, we need to reverse the elevator. Okay, so we've reversed the elevator. We're leaving the others alone. Don't need to put any curves in at this point. Uh, we do want to put a special function in. And we want to make switch F up. Switch F back, I do anyway. Override channel 3 to minus 100%. That's just, that's for your throttle cut. Uh, I'm just trying to see if I've done everything in my notes. Uh, yep. Okay. So let's return, let's have a look at the monitor screen, um, yeah, that's right, and see if we're getting what we want. So with, with a bit, switch F back, and oh, no, that does not seem to be working right. Hmm. Oh, I know why. <laughs> I knew why, I know why. I missed a step here. <sighs> Yeah, I created I created that special function, but I didn't turn it on. 
I don't quite understand why you have to do that, but you have to go here, you have to go all the way over to the right here and turn it on, see? You have to turn the special function on. I, would, I don't really understand what the point of that is. Why would you want to define a special function if you weren't going to turn it on? But in any case, who knows, who knows, who knows? Okay, so now, see now, now if I raise the throttle, the throttle stick goes up, but the actual throttle doesn't go up. But if I take throttle cut off, then the actual throttle goes up. The top, the top line there is the output, the bottom one is the input. But see, even if it's on full, if I flick the switch back, the output goes back to zero, which is what we want. Um, and the rudder goes 50% left, and the elevators go 50% up and down, and the ailerons go 50% left and right. So I think we have our model correct here. Now, so we're about ready to bind here. So we go back into model, and we go... Oh, Sorry, I just realized that that timer isn't going to do much, is it? Because I didn't turn anything on, I personally like to have a timer, a, t a countdown on my timer. That's, that just, that's just to make the timer, you know, whoops. That's just to make the timer do stuff, um, you know, the timer talk to you as it counts down, tell you how many minutes have, uh, have you got left, and whatever. Again, it's not necessary to fly the thing, but... Okay, so, here we go, we're, we're, we're at multi-sky, fly-sky standard, and we're on bind, so we're actually ready to bind the thing now. So now, we put our battery in our helicopter and the red light flashes and while it's flashing we click on that bind button and the red light stops flashing and all being well we should be good okay the aileron is going right the aileron is going left that's operating the squash there for the left the elevator is going down the elevator is going up um, and there you go. I'm not really meaningfully going to be able to fly it. Of course, if I put the throttle up now, nothing happens because I've got throttle cut on. But if I throttle it up, it's ready to fly. And of course, if I put the throttle cut on, it immediately stops. And that should actually fly. I can't, I can't really fly it right here on the table, but... Uh, but there you go, that should fly. So that was how I eventually got the V911 working with the Jumper T16 Pro, and I imagine much the same thing would work with any other Open Sky transmitter, Open TX transmitter, pretty much. Uh, so we'll turn that off, and we'll turn this off, and we hope all that is conveying something.